To cuff it did, you know, tinge it a little bit. One wrong move will take you back or one good move will take you ahead. In my entire life, if I'm ever indebted to anyone, that's only Vikram Bhatt. Hi guys, this is Mahakshi Chakravarti and you're watching BollywoodHangama.com. Now you're coming up with Tukka Fit, in fact. Yes. All right. So Tukka tell Fit. us something about Tukka Fit. What exactly is this film all about? I signed Tukka Fit, and the first thing is because it's a comedy. You know, after Haunted being such a serious horror entertainer, I'll be doing a comedy, which is completely different from what I did in Haunted. Sure. And uh, Tukka Fit is not your slapstick comedy, I must say. This is a very serious, practical comedy. It's like three, four people are just entangled in a web of chaos and how they come out of it is basically the crux of the story. First thing that, that comes to mind is, once you hear a title like Tukka Fit, you know, uh, the pronunciation can be Tukka Fit or something like that. Tukka is a word which is very, very, uh, I think, symptomatic in uh, in North India. Uh, maybe a few people out here in, in West Western India may not be that, that much aware of it. Um, do you think that the title is a bit... Uh, not that uh, immediately catchy or something like that? The reason we didn't want it to be a catchy because that's the reason we wanted to create the curiosity that what does Tukka fit mean? You know, because Tukka basically means right on target. Ke tukka lag gaya mera. So that's the reason we wanted to create the curiosity of the film. Ke tukka fit hai kya? And we have to create the curiosity for the audience to come and watch us in the cinema halls. And if you don't create curiosity, they are not, they are not going to pay their money to come. You know, what happens is, uh, we've been talking about it that these days marketing has become really, really huge and marketing has become very, very necessary, which is a fact as well. Many a cases, the filmmakers, they are missing out on as content. Okay, that if you have content, hoga, to, there is no better marketing than word of mouth. This has been proven recently in the case of Pan Singh Tomar. Absolutely. Very low on marketing, but the fact is, it started off on a 75 lakh and next day it was like a 1.5 crores and Sunday it was a 2 crores. Produce a film with the entire film industry in it. But if you don't have content, there's no point in it, you know. But if you can make a film with one actor, and if the film is good, it can be superb. Like recently I saw a film called Buried in which uh, Ryan Reynolds was there. He was the only actor in the entire film. And he kept me glued for 1 hour 40 minutes, you know. That's the content of the film. You know, that's very important. So I believe PR is important. You have to create the curiosity for the people to come and see your film. But after they sit in that seat, after the film starts rolling, it's only the content that sells. One thing which will readily come into mind is, KR, will we see Mithun Chakravarti and Mimo Chakravarti dancing together? <laughs> Mithunji has danced in um, Anarkali recently uh, yes. for, for, Absolutely. for uh, Houseful 2 and um, we put out the making yesterday and Sajid Khan was telling everyone, you see that typical, typical smile of Mithunji, typical step of Mithunji. You're like, it is like part of the folklore, in fact. So, do we see you guys dancing together? In fact, I just saw that there's a pause in Bollywood Hangama right now and my dad is standing next to Malaika. And uh, yeah, he did a tremendous job in Houseful too. And uh, well, when it comes to shaking legs with him, I think, uh, to be honest, I as an actor, I as a man, I'm not ready to do that yet. And the reason is that because he is Mitrin Chakravarti. Today, his grace, his stance, his aura, I'm not even an inch of it. I'm not ready to stand in the same frame with him and shake a leg. But yes, maybe futurely, in like two or three years or five years down the line you never know it may happen and when is enemy releasing in fact enemy we are planning it by august we are planning an august release in fact uh, in a couple of days we'll be shooting the item song of the film we have just one song in the film and uh, we have a couple of days of shooting left edit is almost done so the progress is going going quite good so who's do doing the item song is mumayat khan is doing it she did the song in uh, Mumbai Mumbai MBBS, MBBS, yes see clear yes yes that one i was in the rehearsals a couple of days back and uh, saroj khan is doing the choreography whatever's done it's just super bappi uh, is doing the music Achha. Yeah, he's doing Larry, okay. Yeah. Because I think he's got a, f a phenomenal association with uh, Mithunji. Yes, fact. absolutely. Will we see Mithunji uh, dancing? No, no. This is actually completely an, an item song. It's uh, which comes in the film. But you'll be seeing me and Joy Lover shaking a leg or two in there. And what about Vikram Bhatt? Because he's he's been responsible in, in a big way in your resurgence. True. So when do we see you working with Vikram Bhatt once again? In my entire life, if I'm ever indebted to anyone, that's only Vikram Bhatt. The story behind Haunted was that I met him half an hour late for my meeting. He called me by 3.30. I went, by there. I went there by 4 at his office. And I said, oh, I've, I screwed the meeting. You know, I, I got late. I showed him my photographs. And I said, Vicky, sir, you made your photos. Chalo, Mimo, I'll call you, as everybody says. And he messages me on my BBM and says that you're on. Trust me, for a guy who's been unemployed for two years, getting a message from Vikram Bhatt saying that you're on, you just go absolutely numb. And the next day, I went to his office. He narrated the story, I signed the project and that's how I got onto it. Okay, any other projects apart from this? As of now, these are the only two. But uh, I'm having many, many story narrations. Like every day I'm at least having a one story narration. But I'm being very, very 
picky, trust me, because I'm only 27 mm -hmm. and I got my entire career and life ahead of me. Luckily, like what my dad says that you don't have to struggle as much as I did. I mean, I don't have to think about my next meal, you know, at least I got that. I got my clothes, I got my car, I got my phone, you know. So you just be very picky when it comes to your films because one wrong move will take you back mm -hmm. or one good move will take you ahead. So I'm being very, very picky, trust me. So that was uh, Mahakshay, whom we lovingly called as Memo. And uh, he's talking about uh, his uh, next films, that is Toka Fit and uh, Enemy with, uh, with Mithun Chakravarti ji. And he's also spoken about uh, his uh, um, bad days that happened after after Jimmy and the kind of uh, criticism that, that came his way. The best part is that he has taken that criticism in a very, very positive way. Now he can look, look back at it in a very, very positive way now. At that point of time, he was quite negative about it. So uh, we really hope that uh, Toka Fit and Enemy do very, very well. And um, looking forward to many more more films from you in the future. Thank all you the sir. best, man. Thank you, bro. Thank all right. you so much. That's all we have from Bharatanagama. Keep on watching. <laughs>